Because I'm with you. We we also say the same thing that DPIN is really the the use case that we've been waiting for in the blockchain space past uh, DeFi. Uh, DPIN is where it's going to go next. But uh, how do you explain DPINs to people? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of uh, you know always like analogies are always like the best way to do this, right? And I think like DPINs like we're lucky in that we're like very skeuomorphic to sort of like a business model that already exists in Web two, right? So when I often talk about IONET. Um, one of the easiest ways to kind of just like tell people what it's about it's like it's not just saying hey we're the airbnb of gpus and you know essentially people kind of always have that aha moment of like oh okay now i get it because you know at the end of the day what we're doing is you know we're a two-sided marketplace but essentially what we're doing is we're taking like latent compute capacity that exists out there offering a platform or a network for to be able to coordinate it cluster it together and then you know make it easy for people who actually need that compute to be able to access it Yo.